Hi everyone, I'm going to show you how to use Free File Sync. I've already plugged in my hard drive and now I'm going to start the Free File Sync software. And this is it. It's a fairly simple little piece of kit. So where you start. First of all you want to decide if you want to do a two-way synchronisation or if you want to do a one-way synchronisation. In general, you're going to want to do a one-way synchronisation from your PC to your backup. So to change this, click on Synchronisation Settings and I want to mirror. I want to go from one side to the other and delete anything that's different. OK? So we click OK and now you'll see the Synchronise button has changed to Mirror. So now what I've got to do is select what I want to back up. Now in here I've got some already selected folders which I regularly back up. I back up my font files, any downloads that I've made and my D drive which is my data drive. So I'm going to start with my data drive and on this side I'm going to browse to find in my plugged in hard drive. You can see on my hard drive I have the same folders repeated. I'm going to click on my data file, select folder. And you can see now I've got D drive here and D data which is my reminder that this is the correct folder. And now what I do is I click mirror. What's happening at the moment is that the piece of software is comparing all the files in my D drive to all the files on my backup hard drive. Free File Sync is currently indexing all the changes that have taken place since the last time I backed up. Free File Sync will take a little bit of time to index and look for differences between your computer's hard drive and your removable hard drive and it will only back up those files which have changed. Okay, so you can see that Free File Sync has finished the um, comparison and is now ready to start synchronizing. On the far right hand side you can see all the files that have changed and on the left hand side you can see all the files on your hard drive. All we do now is click Start. And as you can see, it's copying files across. It didn't have very many to do, so it's really not going to take very long. There we go, 64, file, 64 items have updated, 8 seconds it took. If you've got a, a number of files, it could take an hour or two hours. I often set this up to run, as I say, on Monday night, and, and then I just go away and come back a couple of hours later and it's usually finished. Click close, everything's done, and close the software. If you were going to do more than one folder, I tend to close the software in between just in case there's any problems with indexing. Shutting the software seems to make it happier. And it is a piece of freeware, so we go with what it does.